Did you know that there's a company that thinks Uber and Lyft don't track all of our mileage? If what this company says is true, then anyone who isn't tracking their mileage will mathematically miss out on their taxes. We're talking thousands of dollars. On the other hand, they could be lying. Stride is incentivized to convince drivers that Uber and Lyft can't be trusted because they make money with an app that tracks drivers' mileage. Stride also claims that you can deduct your mileage on the way to the first passenger, between passengers, and on the way home at the end of the day. Stride says this usually results in doubling your deductible mileage instead of relying on Uber and Lyft. On the other hand, both Uber and Lyft claim that they track your mileage on the way to the passenger, while driving the passenger, and until you drop them off. So who's telling the truth? To determine the accuracy of Uber and Lyft's mileage tracking system, I will compare my own 2023 mileage, which I meticulously tracked myself, to the tax documents that Uber and Lyft provide us at the end of each year. There's just one major problem. The mileage tracker I used to run my rideshare business wasn't built until 2024. To compare my 2023 mileage to Uber and Lyft, I'm going to have to show you how I recreated my mileage. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how you can get the same ride share business tracker that I made for myself and that I'm using in this test. To reconstruct my mileage data from 2023, the first thing I did was to go to my Lyft dashboard, click on the hamburger menu, go to driving history, click back to 2023, go week by week and fill in all the days I worked on my spreadsheet. That took a long time. And if you appreciate the time and effort I put into doing this test, smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. The second part of reconstructing my mileage was only possible because I turned a critical feature on and I'm going to show you how to do it too. I recommend that all drivers track their mileage in at least two ways. One should be manual and the other should be automatic. With the automatic tracker, drivers can reconstruct their mileage just in case they forgot like I did. The free automatic tracker that I use is Google Maps. Here's a map showing everywhere I've been since I turned this feature on over 10 years ago. To turn this feature on, open the Google Maps app, tap on your profile picture, and in the menu that appears, tap your timeline. Click the menu button, tap location history, and now you can turn it on. Once this feature is turned on, you can pick any year, month, or day to return to. Since I listed all of the days I worked with Uber and Lyft on the spreadsheet tracker, all I had to do next was go to that specific day and write down my personal mileage and business mileage. But Tristan, if you have an automatic mileage tracker, why in the world would you track your mileage manually? <laughs> on driver, you ask such great questions. If you ever get audited by the IRS, they will only accept paperwork if it includes mileage, date of trips, and the purpose of those trips. Google Maps doesn't separate my business mileage from my personal mileage. Okay, but wouldn't using an app like Gridwise to track your mileage be better? The problem that I have with Gridwise is that sometimes I forget to even turn the tracker on, even though it has a built-in reminder. Even worse is at the end of a shift, when I forget to turn the tracker off, I usually don't even realize I forgot to turn it off until I wake up the next day, which messes up all my data. On the other hand, tracking my odometer manually forced me to stay in tune with my business numbers. Knowing my business numbers helped me increase my income per mile by over 40% compared to last year. The spreadsheet tracker is going to prove that to you later in this video. Now that I've organized my mileage from 2023, it's time to look at how many miles Uber and Lyft claim I drove during that year. Once a year is completed, at the beginning of the new year, Uber and Lyft send documents to drivers during tax season. To access your Uber driver tax documents, sign into your Uber driver account, go to tax information and pick the yearly summary for the particular year. For this test, it's going to be 2023. Before I show you my mileage, you can see that I grossed about $8,500. Uber took $3,200, leaving me with roughly $5,000. That's approximately a 40% take rate, which matches Uber's average take rate according to a Forbes study. However, it is essential to note that when Uber first launched, they only took 20% from drivers. That number will likely increase over time. That's why I'm on a mission to convince drivers to create a budget, cut their spending, pay off their debts, and use rideshare as a stepping stone towards something better. If you're interested in something like that, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe because that is the business that I'm in. In 2023, throughout 350 completed trips, 
Uber claims I drove 5,236 miles online in the app. To see how many miles Lyft says I drove in 2023, I log into the Lyft driver website, click on the menu, click on Tax Center, and go to the annual summary corresponding to the year you're looking for. You can see that I grossed over $70,000 with Lyft. When you add up all of the expenses, Lyft took about $30,000, leaving me with just $40,000. That's a take rate of about 42%, which is higher than Uber's take rate for me. That's a far cry from the 70% that Lyft promises drivers because the 70% is calculated after external fees. It's all a mind game. As far as the mileage is concerned, Lyft claims I drove about 25,000 miles. Between Uber and Lyft, my mileage comes out to a total of 29,910 miles. We'll call that 30,000 miles for this comparison. Now we're gonna compare that to my mileage from my Rideshare Business Tracker, which I'll show you how to get if you stick around to the end. After matching my Google Map data to the days I drove with Uber and Lyft, you can see that I drove over 43,000 business miles compared to the 30,000 miles Uber and Lyft claim I drove. That means I would have missed out on 13,000 miles. But let's see how much money that equates to. In 2023, the mileage deduction was 65 cents per mile. To figure out how much of a tax deduction I would miss out on, we multiply the mileage difference of $13,000 by 65.5 cents. That shows I would have missed out on $8,515 in tax deductions, which is why I created the Rideshare Business Tracker spreadsheet. This tool designed by me, a rideshare driver, for all other drivers out there like you, also your rideshare driver, and it tracks more than just your mileage. It lets you record income from various sources like DoorDash, cash tips, private rides, and even from this free tablet, which generates enough money for me to buy gas. You should get it too, it's free. They send it to you for free. It's linked below. The tracker calculates your hourly earnings and cost per mile. But my favorite feature is the ability to show you your real profit accounting for cost and taxes. This figure gives your actual net income and your true hourly rate. For example, in 2023, I made $1 per mile, but in 2024, I improved my earnings to $1.40 per mile. This 40% increase was possible because the tracker helped me identify areas for improvement. To get this tool, visit futurewriteyourmillionaire.com and sign up to support the channel. I'm also working on a video to help you predict when and where bonuses will appear. If that video is finished, then it should be on the screen here. And if it's not, just enjoy these other videos that will help you make money too. I'll catch you later.